Okay, let's try our hand at graphing these functions. Um, we're going to start here with a graph of y equals x squared and gradually transform it to the graph of y equals f of x here. So we know this is a basic parabola, y equals x squared. Point zero zero is on there and I'm going to add another point or keep track of what happens, another point for point one one. And the first step I'm going to make is uh, make this shift to the left by two units. So I get the graph of y equals x plus 2 squared is the graph of this shifted to the left by two units. So now the vertex is at minus 2, 0. And this point 1, 1 has shifted to the left by two units, so that's at minus 1, 1. Now I'm going to multiply that by a negative, so that's going to uh, reflect the graph in the x-axis. The y values are all going to become negative. So I'm going to look at the graph y equals minus x plus 2 squared. And so that's just the one above reflected in the x-axis. So this point minus 2, 0 stays where it is. And the point negative 1, 1 now goes to negative 1, negative 1. And lastly, I'm going to shift this thing upwards by 4 units. And that's this downward facing parabola gets shifted upwards by 4 units. Its vertex is now at minus 2, 0 plus 4, so it's minus 2, 4. And this point, negative 1, negative 1, gets shifted upwards to negative 1, and negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. So that's finally the graph of y equals negative x plus 2 squared plus 4. And you can add more detail by keeping track of more points. You should obviously try this next one by yourself and then have a look at the solution. Well, I'm going to start with the basic graph of y equals the square root of x here. And I'll keep track of 2.00 and 1, 1. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, take the square root of negative x. You could uh, work these transformations in a different order if you like. Um, but I'm going to choose this path. So I've changed the x to negative x, and now that reflects the graph in the y-axis. So 0, 0 stays where it is, and 1, 1 gets changed to negative 1, 1. So it's right here. And now I'm going to subtract 2 from the x. That means I'm going to shift this to the right by 2 units. So everything here gets shifted to the right by 2 units. Now I have the point 2, 0 on the graph. And this one gets shifted to the right by 2 units, so that's now at the point, negative 1 plus 2, so that's 1, and the y value remains the same. So it's 1, 1, back at 1, 1 again. And next I'm going to divide by 10. So that does a um, vertical um, shrinking of the graph, so that just means that the distance from the y-axis here gets cut by 10 um, for every point on the graph. So 2, 0 stays where it is. This point 1, 1 now shifts downwards to 1, 
1 over 10, even though the scale here um, is a little off compared to the previous one. Now this is the point 1, 1 over 10, and this is y equals the square root of negative x, uh, sorry, x minus 2, all over 10. And now I add 20, so that's a vertical shift. So this graph now shifts upwards, and again the scale is going to have to change a bit here because 20 is a big number compared to what I've been dealing with. So now the point 2, 0 shifts upwards to the point 2, 20. And the point 1, 1 over 10 is going to shift upwards to the point 1, 20 plus 1 over 10, which is the point 1, 201 over 10. And so, it's up there. So finally, that's the graph of y equals the square root of negative x minus 2 over 10 plus 20.